Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another updated video on how to set up HA dashboard. Now for me, of course, this is specifically going to be set up in a Python virtual environment, uh, separate from Home Assistant, uh, but still running on the same machine. Uh, it's a pretty cool setup. Uh, obviously, if you run into issues with App Daemon, then you can just uh, remove the uh, virtual environment for that setup and it won't affect anything else. Uh, makes it kind of nice. As far as the configuration goes, it's pretty much the same. Uh, so, of course, if you're having trouble getting it configured properly, then you can kind of skip along to that step and it should be able to get you set up with the uh, HA dashboard on uh, whatever setup you have. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So of course we're going to start by making sure uh, our system is up to date. Uh, once we do that, then of course we're going to go ahead and create a Python virtual environment specifically for App Daemon and HA Dashboard. After we do that, then we're going to install and configure App Daemon. Uh, once all that is done, then we of course set up App Daemon as a service so that it will uh, start up uh, automatically whenever we boot up the system. Uh, then of course we're going to create a test dashboard just so uh, I can kind of show you what it's going to look like once it's up and running. And then of course lastly we'll kind of show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. So of course, like I said, uh, for starters, we're going to make sure our system is up to date. Uh, we do that by doing a sudo apt update and a uh, sudo apt upgrade. And I'll kind of fast forward through that so we're not waiting around for it to finish. All right, once updates are finished installing, we're ready to set up the uh, virtual environment. So, um, of course, I'll put all this stuff in the description, but we're going to do a Python 3-M BENV app daemon. And, of course, that's what I'm calling my virtual environment. You can call it whatever you want. Once we do that, we're going to uh, CD into that app daemon directory. And we're going to run a source bin slash activate. That will activate the virtual environment. As the last part of setting up that virtual environment, we need to install wheel. So we'll do a Python 3-M pip install wheel. We are ready to install app daemon. Uh, so we'll do a Python 3-M pip install app daemon. I'll go ahead and speed this video along. We're going to create a conf directory so we'll do a mkdir conf. Uh, once that conf directory is created we're going to cd into that directory. And then we're going to create our app daemon.yaml file. This will be our configuration used to run app daemon with. So we're going to do a vi app daemon .yaml. All right, so uh, for starters, we're going to add in a section for logs. Uh, so we'll do a log colon. Uh, and then uh, below that, we're going to have log file colon. And then the path to our log file, which will be uh, inside that comp folder. And I'm just going to call it appdaemon.log. And again, I'll put all this in the description so you can copy and paste it. Uh, we're also going to create a line for our error log file as well. We'll call it um, aderror.log. Uh, once those are set up, then we're going to add in a section for app daemon. I think by default the threads are 10. I'm just going to go ahead and set it to 10 as well in my configuration file. Um, then we're going to put a path to the app directory. Again, it's going to be inside that comp folder. I'm just going to call it apps.
Next is plugins. Under plugins, I'm going to call it has. And then, of course, the type will also be has. Now, ha underscore URL, this is the URL to your Home Assistant uh, configuration. Uh, since I don't have mine set up uh, with DNS or anything yet, I'm just going to call, uh, call it by the local IP address. And, of course, the default port is 8123. And then if you had a uh, API keys configured on your Home Assistant box, then you would have a line here called HA underscore key. And you could put the uh, whatever the key is for that. All right, and the last section we're going to add here is HA dashboard. Uh, now I'm going to put a, the dash URL, which uh, I, it should just be the same IP address here with the port number 5050. That is the default port for uh, HA dashboard. And then I want a directory to my dashboards and where I'm going to store all those. I'm going to put this also in the conf directory and I'm just going to call it dashboards. Uh, once I have all that in there, I'm ready to save it. Now I want to go ahead and create a, a couple of those directories that I referenced in that uh, appdaemon.yaml file. So I'm going to do a mkdir apps and an mkdir dashboards. Once all that's done, uh, our configuration part is done. We're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so we're going to set up App Daemon to run as a service. Now, of course, we do that by uh, creating a service file. So I'm going to do a sudo vi etsy systemd slash system slash service. And again, I'll copy and paste this in the description. Let's see, under unit, uh, we have description. I'm just going to say App Daemon for has... See, after equals network dash online dot target. Let's see, under the service section, I'm going to set the type to be simple. Uh, the user, I'm just going to run it as my uh, Adrian account. That's what I'm running Home Assistant as as well. Uh, exec start. This will be the path to uh, app daemon. And that should be inside the uh, virtual environment bin directory. Now I'm doing a dash capital D for debug just to get some additional logs. That way if uh, anything goes down, I can look in system CTL and see what the problem is. And then of course dash C will point it at my newly created configuration file. The yap daemon.yaml. So I just got to point it at the directory that that's stored in, which is that conf directory. And then, of course, lastly, the install section, we're just going to say wanted by equals multi-user.target. Once all that's done, we're going to save that. And then we need to do a daemon-reload. Uh, once that's done, we're going to enable that new app daemon.service file. Once it's enabled, we'll go ahead and start it. And of course, uh, lastly, we're just going to um, check the status of that appdaemon.service file and make sure it's running and everything's okay. And as you can see here, it's active and running and it shows down here, started appdaemon for has, so we are good to go.
All right, for the sake of this video, we are going to create a just a default test dashboard. Uh, so we're going to give it a title. I'm just going to call it main. And I'm just going to throw in some widget dimensions and stuff here. You can set these uh, to whatever you want, depending on how large of a dashboard you want to set up. Widget margins, kind of the same scenario here. I'm going to give it 11 columns. Again, this is really just kind of an example. Set it up uh, the size that you need. All right, so we're going to have a clock widget in here. So I'm going to say a widget type is clock. And I'm going to add that switch that I have configured in here in my uh, test home assistant server. So widget type is going to be switch. Uh, the entity, I think, is called switch.hasPower. This was uh, an old Wemo switch that I had configured on uh, a Raspberry Pi. And then under state text, I'm going to put that to one. Basically, that will it'll show on and off, depending on whether or not the switch is turned on and off. I'm going to add a reload component in there as well. So a widget type will be reload. And lastly, this is where you set up the layout. So I'm going to have a clock. I'm going to make it a 4 by 2. So I'm going to add a switch. I'm going to make it, I don't know, 2 by 2. And then we'll move down towards the bottom of this. I'm going to add in that reload widget. We'll just make it one by one. All right, so we got all that in there. Let's go ahead and save it. We're going to restart App Daemon just to make sure it picked up those changes. Let's go ahead and move over to the uh, HA dashboard web front end and see what that looks like. All right, so um, as you can see, this is kind of the default uh, section of HA Dashboard. If you don't actually go specifically to a dashboard, it'll list out all your dashboards that you have created. So far, we only have one, so it's called Main. So we're going to click on that one. And, of course, it's a pretty basic dashboard, not a whole lot to it, uh, not very customized. But it has that clock widget that we set up. It has the switch that I created. It currently shows that it's on. And the down in the bottom corner is that reload widget. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, as you can see, we now have HA dashboard running in a Python virtual environment. All right, let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So for starters, we uh, made sure that our system is up to date. Uh, once that was done, then uh, we created our Python virtual environment for App Daemon. Uh, after we did that, we installed and configured App Daemon. Once everything was installed and configured, we set up App Daemon to run as a service. Uh, after we had that set up and running, then of course we created a test dashboard uh, to kind of show you how that works. And then of course lastly I showed you what that kind of looked like in action. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, like I said, not too hard to set up. Um, and like I said, you can run it in this virtual environment. So if you have any issues, you just blow that virtual environment away and you start over. Uh, makes it nice and keeps it everything kind of clean. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.